If you are a producer admin in Matic, you will have access to your account's enterprise settings. To access this, go to the icon with your initials in the top right corner of your admin view and select Enterprise Settings. From here, you can manage your company's account, including editing the name of your company. You can enable and disable features for your end users, such as bulk generation and sub-templates, and you can also control which folder your end users generated presentation saved to and the default sorting order for the templates in your enterprise. Lastly, you can set up your identity provider settings here. Matic supports single sign-on, or SSO, through Okta, OneLogin, and Azure. In order to set these up, click on your desired identity provider and input both the SAML metadata URL and your email domain. Refer to your identity provider's documentation center to learn how to set up Matic within their platform. Note that when you enable SSO, Matic disables the option to log in with a password for everyone in the account except users with the admin role in Matic. If you are a producer admin, you will have the ability to provision and deprovision users from directly within Matic. Click on your user profile in the upper right-hand corner and then Enterprise Settings to access this page. Then click on the Users tab. Here you will see a list of all users who have access to Matic. To provision a new user, click on the Add New User button. A pop-up will appear for you to enter your user's information. The Admin role type will allow this user to onboard templates to Matic, which includes the ability to add and edit data sources, dynamic content, inputs, and other templates. The producer admin role type is an elevated admin role type that also gives admins access to enterprise settings. The end user role type will allow the user to view templates that have been published by admins and generate them as finished presentations or PDFs. Note that once you mark a user as active, they will receive an email from Matic with instructions on how to log into the platform, so only do this when you are ready to do so. If your users do not promptly receive a welcome email from Matic, please have them check their spam folder before reaching out to support. You can also make changes to an existing user by searching for them and clicking on their name. A pop-up window will then appear, allowing you to change their permissions and status. Keep in mind that if you change a user's status to inactive, that user will no longer be able to access Matic. Also note that if you leverage SSO through Okta, OneLogin, or Azure, you'll be able to directly provision users from within your chosen identity provider. Lastly, if you click on the Groups tab, you can create user groups. Click on Add New Group and fill out this pop-up to create a new group. Or, click on an existing group to manage it.